Hi everybody, it's Az here from Heal vs. Babyface. In patch 6.2, if you have a level 3 garrison, there is going to be the opportunity to develop a shipyard on top of it. It's essentially the fourth level of the garrison itself. When you log in for the very first time, your faction leader will be there with an initial quest. King Varian Rin for the Alliance and Vol'jin for the Horde. They will both send you on a little mission up north of Gorgrond at the Iron Docks, a place which we've already essentially cleared out in a dungeon earlier in the expansion. Once you arrive, you'll be partaking in a very small quest chain. It starts off with gathering a detonator and some explosives. There's also a bonus objective, which I highly recommend you take advantage of. The reason why is once it's completed by either defeating the Iron Horde soldiers or disrupting their machinery, you'll be awarded with some gold, but most importantly, 200 garrison resources and garrison resources are going to be the main currency for your shipyard and you're going to need an abundance of them. In actual fact, I would highly recommend entering patch 6.2 with a minimum of 6,000 garrison resources available just for the shipyard itself. Once you have freed the Iron Horde shipwright and managed to reassure him that you're not here to kill him, but in actual fact recruit him for your garrison, there will only be one final task here to complete, and that's to defeat the final boss, which will actually drop the blueprints for the shipyard itself. Once they're received, then you can return back to the shipwright and hand them in. He'll then tell you to return to your garrison, and then you can actually start the construction of the shipyard at your home base. But a shipyard doesn't come for free. In actual fact, it's a hefty outlay of five thousand garrison resources to actually create it that's why i said earlier in the video you should be going into patch 6.2 if you want this item with a minimum of six thousand garrison resources but if you do have the materials then all you have to do is head down to your docks speak to the shipwright and he will construct your shipyard for you so let's have a little tour of the Alliance one. Well, first of all, we've got our faction leaders, Yerul Kadga and King Varian Rin. And on this pier, we lead over to a wee bit of a jetty here, uh, where no doubt one of our constructed ships would go. The actual aesthetic of the shipyard is very nice indeed, and it's a wee bit of a distance, but close enough not to feel disconnected from your garrison. There's also a naval equipment specialist here who will sell you a couple of trinkets, but uh, again, quite a high cost, 2,000 garrison resources a pop. Over in the distance, we have a lighthouse, and then here on the larger pier, we've got two areas where ships could no doubt be, and one which I've already constructed. So how did I go about making the ship? Well, when your shipyard has been completed, you should have a quest waiting for you at the entrance way to it. And it will tell you to go and speak to the Iron Horde shipwright who you liberated, shall we say, from the Iron Docks. He's not going to be too far away on a stretch of shore, surrounded clearly by construction materials. What he's going to do is he's going to provide you with a blueprint for a transport ship free of charge so this is to get you started with your ship constructions but other than that you're back on your own again because the next mission will be to actually create the transport ship and that requires 1000 garrison resources so if you don't have the respective amount you're gonna have to go out and start to farm some so once again this is why i said you should go into patch 6.2 if you want the shipyard with a minimum of 6,000 garrison resources 5,000 for the construction of the yard itself and 1,000 for the construction of the transport ship I can imagine that there will be a construction time involved, but once it's been completed, you just have to right-click onto the ship and it will learn it. 
but it appears that ships are also like followers. Once you learn them, they can proc various rarities. You'll notice that mine procced as a blue rare. So it could mean that ships are also segmented into uncommon, rare, and epic levels, which no doubt will have some sort of bearing on the success percentage of when you unlock naval missions. And once you've spoken to Kadga and you start your invasion of Tanan Jungle, that is exactly what you unlock on your garrison command table. This quest can be started by speaking to your shipyard foreman down by your docks and it will take you back to your command table in your respective garrison town hall. However, naval missions have not yet been added to the command table on the PTR for patch 6.2 so we are going to have to wait to a later date to see how they test and actually play out as well as discovering how we'll be able to get different blueprints for different vessels to construct new ships in the shipyard. But there we go, at least we've got a decent idea of how to create the shipyard itself and what it's actually going to entail. So I hope you enjoyed the vid, if you did do give it a thumbs up up and also subscribe to my channel follow me on social media as well as twitch for live streaming those links are in the description down below and i'll be back with some more stuff very soon you take care everybody Bye bye